you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography as well as figure height comparison at the end of this video. So please watch and enjoy until the end. Now let's begin. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? And today we are going to be reviewing Fate Grand Order Fujimaru Ritsuka. And yes, he is an event exclusive or a web store exclusive and it took some time for him to uh, arrive because they had this event uh, version well released a while ago and for the the web exclusive it took some time for it to arrive but I'm happy receiving him and on the side we can see his simple Fujimaru Ritsuka design or promotional image the back side we can see this uh, character and also on the other side he has this pet um, I think we received the pet with her but well anyhow and yeah Fujimaru on the top and Fujimaru on the bottom so and she's a very very simple box um, not much included I assume and yes it's EX059 so let's open the box and take a look inside and here he is Fujimaru Ritsuka and yeah, very minimalized as I expected. So he comes with total three pair of hand, which is really again minimal for a Figma standard, but that's okay. He comes with two open hand with his uh, rage inside on his right, and again he had a holding hand on, well holding hand, sorry, and rage on his right again, and by default he comes with a regular fist hand. So his face is very very clean. I like it. I really really like. I like the character a lot. And um, let's see his face. His come with total three faceplate and his a serious mode. You know, talking to Mashu. And his this one's a very cute one. He's you know blushed face. I don't know if you can see that well, but yeah, that's a very cute face. I like. And he comes with a. Not a robe, but something more like a, yeah, more like a robe. Um, but this one, the one piece. So sadly, if you put this on, his uh, arm articulation will be minimized to none. So, oh, yes. And I usually don't do um, review on the stand because they're boring. But this one, it comes with an extra piece where um, I forgot the character's name. This fairy animal beast character because I'm not too interested <laughs> and I know that some fans gonna be screaming at me for that but I really don't care about this fairy but it had the stand dedicated that connect to the main stand like so and that's really uh, neat also there is a um, articulation there too so you can kind of walk around just as funny because um, I think at the she I'm not too sure even the gender or even that had the gender but uh, it's, it's a spirit, so probably not. But you can pe there's a peg hole right in there. You can peg it in. Just it's 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 sitting. So I'm not too sure that is appropriate for for the stand. There is a a um, mush came with uh, this version where it does have a peg hole, so you can swap that and replace it. <sighs> Go in, go in. It doesn't like to get in. Hmm. Well, it's it's not fully in, but this is more appropriate. I'm not too sure if the camera is catching that. There we go. But yeah, I think this is more you know cur like appropriate for this stand. But anyhow, you get a dedicated option for the stand, and if it's free, that's you know that's a great option. Um, but I prefer him, it, whatever, to just, you know, be like that. Anyhow, let's go with the articulation, shall we? Or before that, let's enjoy the detail of simplistic sculpt. Like, nothing comes more simple than this, I think. His boot is slightly... Well, it's, it's an okay sculpt. It's not like... It's nothing amazing. 
but again, I like this character. I'm not too, like, a lot of people like Shiro, but honestly, and again, a lot of people gonna attack me for this, but I really don't care about Shiro. Like, for me, she's not an interesting character for me.、Um, I, I rather prefer his dad,、uh, Kiritsugu. Kiritsugu was a really nice character. I loved him. His, his character was really nice. Shiro was something I really didn't care of at all. Like, not interesting. But I love,、um, well,、uh, Fujimaru Rizuka a lot because he t a k e actions.、Um, not, not, not much of you know, him. Nagging or you know, questioning the reality, or、oh, what should I do, or、oh, why this, this, that. Not, he's more、uh, see the reality and proceed. So, so I really like that character. Shiro's more like, you know, he had too many questions, he should take actions when he should and he didn't. And there was a time that he didn't take action when he should. It's a lot of things that, you know, things bother me, so I'm not too interested. But these two. Man, they should get married. <laughs> It's an adorable couple. Like, awesome, awesome, adorable couple. Now, before I go any further, I got a door ringing, so I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. Then let's proceed ahead with its、uh, articulation. I just realized one of this hair right here, I don't know if you can see it. This part right here had a glossy. Um, shine right here for some reason. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a little weird. Maybe it's one of it's a hair piece got broken off and you can see the inside plastic. Not too sure, but anyhow, let's go with the articulation. His head tilts that much, that much, man, it is so cute. And his head goes, <laughs> doesn't go up at all. And he does look down quite a bit, but doesn't go. Up at all due to his hair sculpt getting in the way. His head goes 360, it's great. He kind of、uh, reminds me、um, Kiritsugi when he was young. It could be just me, but anyhow, his shoulder goes that much. Typical、uh, goes 360. His arm comes out that much. Not that great, not that bad. Same, not so much. His Elbow goes that much, decent enough, Figma style 360 on the wrist, and goes up that much, goes down that much. Now, his ab crunch <laughs> I don't know if he h a v e any ab crunch, but let's see. His ab crunch goes、uh, no, <laughs> that much. He does have a, a back crunch a bit. But yeah, that's about it. You, you can do goes 360. And his leg would open、um, much wider than I thought. And he could run decently. Yep. The funny thing is that、uh, just by looking at the, the design,、um, I would expect his joint to be up here just by human anatomy. But if, if it's up here, he wouldn't be able to do any.、Um, Well, split or anything, so that, I think that's why the joint is very low right here, which was a, a smart thing for, for Max Factory to do. And oh, nice, his,、uh, his knee goes that much, and his、uh, knee is a little, well, the joint is very shiny comparing to his pants. That's, that's a bit too noticeable, but that's fine. Now, there is a cut. Right here, which allowed him to go 360. That's very nice. Yeah. And his、uh, ankle goes up that much, go down that much, and his foot is super hard. Now, there you go. And that's about it. So, overall,、um, very Figma ish articulation. Yes. And his shoulder kind of. I don't know. It looks like it's, his shoulder is kind of. You know, if it's like that, and when you tend to move your arm up, he, he has to do that. It's gonna. You still see, see the gap. So he kind of looks like his shoulder is dislodged. So I have to keep having that in mind. And his scarf, yeah, is. 
removable, so you can have him without it. But uh, actually, that's not bad. Usually, when Pigma has some kind of how do I say neck area piece like a cape or so on, for example, um, oop, like for this character right here, I forgot his name. It's a boy, God. But anyhow, like when you remove the cape, then you could kind of see that it looks really weird. <laughs> like the neck is way long and the shoulder is really in a in a weird state. But for Fujimaru, he looks fine. So that's that's nice. Now you could have his I heard a, a snap sound. Oh, okay. So, I don't know if you can see, but there's a hole right here in the back, which kind of connects right here. So, that's probably when you want him to jump around like that. So, yes, we'll see what's the base. You could have this cape, it's kind of look weird, but you could have this cape with or without, and you can make him, you know, jump around, which is nice. But anyhow, you can have his scarf on this way, that way, I think it's this way, yep. And there we go. He looks a little... The neck does kind of look short. Actually, I think it's fine. So if I have Mashu right beside him, um, maybe Mashu is a little too short. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's about right. Yeah. These two are so adorable. They should really be. I don't know how the ending's gonna go, but um, yeah, I, I really like the the uh, the series where Gilgamesh came out. I think that was the uh, Babylon um, saga, and that was really nice uh, series. I really enjoyed. The animation was top notch too. So here's the two fairies. Uh, I think the the sculpt. Actually, the sculpt is completely different. Uh, the one that came with Mashu is more detailed with the hair. But it's not that, like the one that come with Liska is a lack in detail. It's more softer, like the hair. The, the one with Mashu is more, how do I say, busy when it comes to the detail. But both of them are cute. That said, I really don't kind of care about the character because it doesn't do it much. I'm quite sure it's going to do something really significant in the very end. But yeah, I, I really don't... Well, I wouldn't say I don't care, but it's not, it's not a character that I, I think about too much. Now, again, the best you can do is around that much with the cape on. You can't do anything much. Which is a, a little shame. Um, yeah, because... He does walk around a lot with his robe on, so... And again, Figma doesn't use cloth material, I think. I know they wouldn't because it's so costly to um, add a new department. Because cloth is uh, it's nothing to do with sculpt. It, it's a completely uh, different department, so it's going to be a very big cost for them. And I don't think they would... Uh, Put that in for for their Figma line. If they if they do, that'd be great. Um, don't get me wrong, I would love to see it, but it's it's really hard to add a new department unless they increase the price or something. And I don't know if the customer would pay for the price. Now I'm just gonna try to swap the hand for everyone to get better oh god my handy teeth helps remove the joints 
so. Um, I forgot which side went which. Was it this side? I'm assuming. Let me just check. Yeah, I'm right. So you can do the the ordering thing. I summon you. Or you can do <laughs> I really like this face crop. It's really it's really cute. Oh no, I didn't mean that kind of face. It's nice. It's it's very adorable. Ah just Ritsuka and uh, and Mushu are really cute. I don't know how, how to express my my joy having those two. And it's one thing that's really weird. Why did um why did Max Factory release him as an exclusive? I really didn't understand because I think he well he is the main protagonist and uh, the Grand Order is a very long series. They have different series and he's the prote protagonist for all. So not all all but he's like the major one so I, I thought you know he she should be a regular release but they done it at a, a exclusive so so yeah it's um, a little bit weird but again um, guy character aren't popular as the female character because the people who buy these are majority are guys there are you know female fan purchasing items but hey you know female fan will also love to get you know boy characters too so yeah I, I think he shouldn't be in a regular release because for some customers I think it's exclusive it's hard to get so yeah if if uh, Mac factory well I order it from exclusive so it wouldn't be something you know good for me but I, I prefer everybody get what they want, and yeah, I, I hope Mac Factory release Ritsuka in a in a way that would benefit the oh, casual collector because I, I think a lot of people are not a lot. I'm not too sure, but there's you know some fans who collected the, this line and couldn't get him because it was exclusive. You know that's something sad to hear. So. Yeah, I hope um, Max Factory will find a way to release them in a way that everybody else can get them. But overall, I'm very happy to get him in my hand. And yeah, I'll try to take some... <laughs> I'll, I'll try to take some cute picture with this guy. It's, it's funny. I'm a guy calling him a cute, but yeah, he's a cute character and it's a very adorable couple. So yeah, and I will see you all soon. Bye. Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only 6% of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here, so your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon. Ah, so